Royal School, Colwyn Bay. It's a relatively small school within a large estate and is situated in one of the most picturesque parts of the British Isles, lying in the shadow of the Snowdonia mountain range. The town itself is set on the North Wales coast. At Rydal, the 350 boys and girls obviously receive a firm academic grounding. But alongside that, there are a large number of sporting, cultural and recreational activities on offer. The headmaster is Peter Watkinson. Well, I hope you'll see in the course of this film that uh, we put a good deal of emphasis on academic standards, but we've always had a very powerful reputation for our games. Uh, you'll see some music, drama and very many other things. And I'd also say that because we're in a lovely part of the world, uh, we do our best to take advantage of the sea and Snowdonia National Park and so on. The Duke of Edinburgh's awards scheme is a challenge that many youngsters in the school take up. The Snowdonia Mountains make an ideal location for the scheme's camping, climbing and hill walking expeditions. This is one of many ways in which a teenager's character can be developed. Rydal is fortunate in having first-class sporting facilities. In the winter term, many boys play rugby. Come the summer, and Newfield is the location for cricket. This particular ground is regarded as one of the finest in Wales. The girls are able to follow a variety of sports throughout the year. There's also a heated swimming pool. Although there are matches in all these sports, youngsters are encouraged to enjoy the exercise. Rydalians are able to follow sports like netball and squash, and the school has excellent facilities for these. Music and drama are also very important. Whether it's a choral concert or a musical, there's always something in production. The school's memorial hall is a fully equipped theatre. I enjoy acting very much. This is the dress rehearsal for the musical Guys and Dolls. On stage I can become someone totally different. I love to entertain people and really it's so much fun. I love you, a bushel and a peck, a bushel and a peck and a hug around the neck, hug around the neck and a barrel and a heap. CDT, or Craft Design and Technology, is a relatively new subject, and Rydal is very well equipped for it. For my A-level project, I'm designing and building a machine that will manipulate steel into various shapes and forms. CDT enables me to design and make an article, and that I find very satisfying. I've especially enjoyed playing in the orchestra and singing at Rydal, but I think this year, Editing the school magazine is going to be a major challenge. Although writing is my passion, this is going to involve organisational and artistic skills too. Rydal is a busy school and there's always something to capture on film, like this rugby match. Alongside my A-levels, I'm taking a further two GCSEs in photography and art and design. I find I'm being asked now to take pictures for the school magazine and the local papers. That's the view of some pupils about their life at Rydal. But why did parents decide to send their children here? Well, I wrote to about 25 or 30 independent schools and also read the book, which is published on independent schools, and finally arrived at this one because we like the headmaster, we like the location, we liked the sport they do, and uh, we, I have a great love for Wales. 
Well, we looked at uh, the various opportunities that Rival had to offer and we felt that they gave the best as far as the aspects and the opportunities in varying education and preparing the children that are here for their careers in adult life. Well, initially we were unhappy with the school that Robert was with previously, so uh, we looked around the area for a number of schools where he could be a day boy, and we saw Rival, came along, saw the facilities at the prep school, uh, were very impressed. But before we made any final decision, we came down here to see the headmaster, had a good look round, again, we're very impressed with the facilities generally, and decided that Robert should come to Rival. I think one of the things that struck me, particularly in the prep school, was the happy atmosphere. There wasn't a feeling of it being an institution that, as you have in a lot of other schools, and we did fine when we went to look at other schools. There was just this very, very happy atmosphere as soon as you walked in the place, which I felt was very, very important for Robert to have. And hopefully he's going to carry on into the senior school when he comes along with his friends and brings that happy atmosphere with him. The school is at all times keeping abreast of developments and trends in society. Educating youngsters for the next century means investing now in the necessary technology. As Britain moves closer to its European neighbours, great emphasis is placed on acquiring a working knowledge of EC languages. At Rydal, pupils are encouraged to work hard and perhaps more importantly, to cultivate a sense of self-discipline and initiative. Furthermore, they're encouraged to research and discover things for themselves. And the school library is a place guaranteed for quiet, private study. Ensuring that boys and girls have the right academic qualifications for the next stage of their careers is a very important task for pupil, school and parent. So that the right subject choices are made, pupils are given an aptitude test and the results discussed in interviews with house staff and the director of studies. Parents aren't left out of the process either. A summary of tests and interviews are sent to parents so that a combined decision is reached. About 90% of the school's leavers go on to degree courses or some form of higher education. Apart from being a compact school community, Rydal does its best to live according to Christian values. This is the special responsibility of the school chaplain. Well, we welcome pupils from all over the world and all kinds of backgrounds. The school is founded by the Methodist Church, but we receive youngsters from all churches, other religions, and a lot of young people, to be honest, are still thinking about whether there is a God and what their ideas are. So we try to encourage, through the whole life of the school, Sunday services, morning worship, and in lessons, an open approach. We want people to know about the Christian faith and about other religions, and we want them to make up their own minds. Of course we encourage them in how they treat one another and in the whole life of the school to be a Christian community, but one that is entirely open. And what we want is for youngsters to think about it, to know something from their experience, and then to make up their own minds. Ever since its foundation in 1885, Rydal has tried to preserve its family spirit. The school is divided into ten houses, each placed away from the main buildings. At Rydal, you won't find long public school dormitories. Emphasis is placed here on living in small groups. The very first day at a new school is worrying perhaps for any parent, but at Rydal, the children are immediately put at their ease, as they are welcomed into a home which is, during term time, an extension of the house staff's family home. During the day, pupils have many opportunities to socialise informally with each other. Apart from breakfast, lunch and supper in the dining hall, a popular area to meet during morning break is the tuck shop. This is also the location for discos and other social events. That apart, 
Rydal also tries to maintain contact with the local community. Rydal Focus is an organisation that brings pupils into contact with people from Colwyn Bay. Young and old alike are able to get something from their regular get-togethers. What are you going to do career-wise? I think I'd like to go into journalism because it's interesting finding out about people and I'd be able to travel across the country and world maybe. Apart from academic and social pursuits, Rydal also encourages creativity. The art department is no exception. Here, many forward-thinking and unusual ideas are realised. Along with music and drama, the creative arts are popular, whether or not the subject in question is being studied for exams. Home economics is also considered an important part of a youngster's training for life. Boys and girls don't just learn how to cook, Dieting, food additives and healthy eating are areas studied by all the pupils. This newly designed home economics centre is one of many excellent educational facilities at Rydal School. Along with teaching expertise and impressive recreational facilities, Rydal has much to offer the adults of tomorrow. Above all, there is a happy atmosphere here. I hope this film has shown you something of the beauty of our location and something of the busyness of the life which we lead here in terms of the academic, athletic, musical and artistic pursuits. We draw our boys and girls from all over Wales, from the north of England and indeed from all parts of the world but we're not isolated from the local community and we do see Rydal as having an important contribution to the life of Colwyn Bay and this area. Finally, we have a strong Christian faith and we try to live this out in the way in which we care for one another and in the way in which we organise our affairs. Do please, if you can, come and visit us and see how far the claims that we make in this film are true.